YouTube, it's above average Cody. And if you didn't already know, the new map Dredge in Halo Infinite has been added to the ranked arena for Capture the Flag. And my first experience on the map was quite an interesting one in a lobby that is way way out of my league here on screen i have the list of everybody that was in this lobby some names you may or may not recognize but these are some very high level players here guys hustle is onyx 1854 name the name that i recognize is 1963 onyx 1838 for shock and 1502, 1752, 1599, and 1962. Guys, I am a Diamond 3 player, which is absolutely insane that I was able to get into this lobby. And guys, just so you know how intense this was to load into for my first game, I just want you to hear my reaction to reading yeah, so the lobby team, so because it was a little shocking. 1963, 1838, oh, what is going what on? What is that lobby? Bro and I definitely think Brent's reaction really says it all. So we're going to go through some of this gameplay. And I'm just going to show you what it looks like to play against some of these guys. And pretty much what not to do on Dredge. Um, super weird map. It doesn't feel all that competitive. But uh, I will say keep the high ground because that's something I kind of lacked here. And you can see they are just flying at me. Missing very, very little shots. Um, I probably should have played a little bit slower, but I was still trying to play confidently around the map, which is very hard to do when you are on a map that you have never played on and it's your first game of the day. I cannot reiterate that enough. So I'm kind of trying to figure out the map here. I see I have a teammate back there with rocks. So I'm kind of just trying to move up, putting grenades where I think there might be enemies. Um, I get to here. I pull the flag off the stand and I go for the return. I go for the 1v1 against Shock. He has a fantastic repulse there. Luckily, my teammate is there to pick up the kill. So overall, not that bad so far. Um, it does get a little bit crazy just because, again, they're they're far out of my league. But I'm trying to move around teammates here. I'm going to go eat up, up top here because you, right here, you can kind of like shoot down at literally everything. As for structure, this map is pretty much like a giant horseshoe. Um, so again, staying up top, and I think Goose even said this in chat, was stay up top and just lay damage, and they'll do the rest, which is really what I should have done, but again, I was trying to play confidently and trying to kind of stick to my game and what I'm used to, but I can tell you guys, this is a whole different world than anything I'm used to, and Glazing Shot actually fell off the map there, so I'm sure, I'm sure we're all pretty new to this map, so it's not like I'm at a severe disadvantage map-wise. Here, I try to chow shocked, and again, guys, these players never take 1v1s. So what my little diamond brain thinks is a 1v1 right here quickly turns into a 2v1 because he's going to slide out and help him secure the kill, and he does it perfectly, perfectly, such that he lines up and eats the damage. This wasn't even intentional, but it looked very good. He it eats all the damage so that I get them both nearly one shot. But I end up with no kills, and they end up just killing me. And you can see there I started off 0-4. A couple assists, which is fine. Um, but the biggest takeaway, like when I play in lobbies like this, which is not often. You guys may remember when we uh, matched with uh, Soul Snipe. Um, they do not miss. They do not miss a single burst. So, like... With my aim, it's come a long way, but how I miss, like, half a burst or even an entire burst, um, it is very, like, detrimental in terms of winning any gunfights against these guys. Now, here, I'm pushing to the base kind of solo. I'm able to get up, get behind this guy, get him almost dead, and then I, I get an opportunity to pull the flag out. Very low ceiling here, so I'm trying not to clang it off the top. And then I know I'm going to get pulled up on, so I try to just repulse it. I probably should have dropped it there and played around it and waited till teammates came over to me. But again, I'm like super star, not starstruck, but I know I'm way out of, in over my head here. Um, so I'm like, I'm just going to keep pulling it, keep running. It was not the way to do it. And now you can see how scared I am. I'm like, should, should I look that way? Should I look this way? I'm complaining about the map the entire time because I don't know it. And so I'm kind of just trying to be sneaky. I heard footsteps here. Able to secure that kill on name. Wasn't all me, but it's an honor. GG's to these guys, obviously. They have no idea who I am. And they obviously weren't impressed with my gameplay, I'm sure. Um, here, I don't know what to do. 
I thought he pulled the flag right off the map. I snap back. Okay, I'm trying to live up. This all looks good and fine. Put in some shots on this guy. I will say, though, for being what? I'm 1,400. They're 1,900. For being 500 SR different, um, I feel like I played kind of okay in the lobby. But obviously, it's balanced, so I have high-level players on my team as well. But I feel like I did okay enough here. Um, I will do some of my complaining about the map towards the end here because I do get in a bit of a blender towards the end. Here on flag, I'm kind of just doing my thing. And this is this is a situation I noticed that is very, very diamond and even I'd say low Onyx-esque as opposed to these players that are much, much higher level. You can see... So I see we have like the mid advantage here and I push right through bottom mid. I go right in the base, you know, I'm sitting on base and I go right up and I want to pull the flag, right? You can see none of the teammates are moving up. Is it because they want to leave me alone? No, it is because they got mid control. Now they want to get a rack of kills or two before they get the opportunity to move into the flag. You see the pros do this all the time in the HCS. And you can see me kind of not going with the flow just because like it's just not what they're what I'm used to, but it's what they're trying to do. So it leads to even though we get two kills and I wait for an opportunity to pull the flag, it does not end up being the way to go. And now that the flag is off, they get two more kills and now it's the time that they want to go and push the flag. But now they could essentially be in a 3v4 because I threw the timings all off. I'm moving, trying not to die, trying not to die. I don't know where to go. I don't know this map. And then I get beamed from our top base. Um, so a pretty unfortunate sequence. You could just see how, like, my little brain just couldn't, like, comprehend what was going on. Um, I really wish I got a map that I knew well and knew the strategies on better rather than the new new map dredge. That's like this situation here where I got back smacked. I literally heard all of the footsteps, but I had no idea where it was coming from or that they could drop on me from that area. Um, I know the map a little bit better now that I played it a couple times, but I'm overall not super thrilled about it. Here, I'm just not sure how to attack this flag, so I kind of stay up top. I wait, and then I push out, and then I get beamed. I should have just pushed around because, as you can see, that's what these, these fellas are doing. So it's like... Um, Again, put me on a map that I know. Maybe this goes a little bit better. Maybe it goes the same. Who's to say? Um, and we won't know because we matched in this on dredge. But hopefully we get up there at some point. Um, and now I'm like, okay, this side seems like the flag run meta. So I'm going to go this way. I run into this guy. Uh, put in some damage, and then there's actually an enemy above me. Don't mind the jump cut, just getting ads on my own videos. But yeah, there's a guy above me. You can see I push the side of map where my teammates aren't. I pay for it big time. Um, another person falling off the map there. It's just detrimental. Um, this is my biggest complaint with Dredge, is this spawn point down here at the bottom of the base. Because you'll see my route out. You either have to run out in the middle of the map where everybody could be looking at you, or you literally have to turn around and go upstairs in the back of your base, which I find is a severe disadvantage if somebody's pulling the flag. Um, maybe if you put a grapple out in front of the base I was talking about, maybe it's a little more viable. Um, and then obviously you can go this way too, but you just saw me like die this way twice, I think. So it's a little unfortunate. You can see I have nowhere to go. I'm getting shot in the back. And now Q above average Cody just looking like an absolute fool on the map. But again, guys, um, 4 and 11, couple assists. I believe this flag is going to get punched in. That's going to be the game. We actually did get the return on that, so this does go a little bit longer here. But, um, again, I'm I'm literally doing whatever I can on a map that I don't know. Um, obviously, I didn't play well, but this was just a very... It, it, this is probably the funniest experience, I think, that I could have had for the first time on the new ranked map because we literally loaded into ranked. I checked what map it was. It was Dredge. I had no idea it was added to ranked. Chat told me yes. Brent goes, oh no, don't queue it, cancel it. We're already loading in. We load in and we see this lobby, which again, cue, cue the reactions from before. 1863, 1838, what is going what on? What is that lobby? You can obviously see that uh, this was a very interesting way to start the day off on the first stream of the week. Um, it was a perfect storm, but honestly, it's it's really cool and interesting at the end of the day because, 
again, these are people that you see a lot uh, around the Halo community, especially name. Uh, I was told they play with Spartan quite a bit. And just to play with players that are that high in rank, where I'd like to someday be. Yes, we're a long way away. Haters go crazy with that statement, but we plan to get there someday. Um, it's a cool experience. I mean, even though I get destroyed, it's probably comedy for them, too, to see a Diamond 3 uh, actually loading into their lobbies as well. Uh, I'm sure they were very disappointed because we did lose this game, but it would have been even crazier if I was able to help them win as a Diamond 3, and uh, I would have st stapled it to the to the Halo Infinite resume for when people want to complain about what rank I am, which people are oddly obsessed with lately again. It's kind of interesting. Um... So yeah, we'll watch the rest of this game. I'm pretty sure it ends pretty soon here. We actually do end up getting a capture. And you can see these guys are just duking it out. I almost feel bad at what a disadvantage I'm putting them at um, by being at the bottom of the leaderboard. Um, I'm sure they expect me to be in better places, lay down better shots, and overall just play a better team game. Um, but it just doesn't go that way when you're a Diamond 3 in a lobby like this, guys. It really doesn't. And, uh, I believe the average MMR was only about 1750, maybe, uh, give or take. It was 1719 for our team and 1722 for their team. And then I actually do look at some of their ranks here. So 1510. Um, and the craziest part is I got ripped for minus 10 off of this game. Um, you would think the game would realize that I am playing way out of my league on this. Um, and they would kind of cut me some slack, but they did not. I got minus 10. So, guys, that was my first game on Dredge. <laughs> Pretty crazy. Again, awesome jumbled way to start the day. But uh, overall, hey, it was funny. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. And, guys, that does it. Subscribe. Leave a like, leave a comment, share all your thoughts on this. Uh, do you want more gameplay videos, more tips and tricks? Let me know. Uh, outside of that, guys, channel memberships. If you'd like to support monetarily, helps you out a lot as a creator, but please do not feel like you have to. But alrighty, guys, thought you'd enjoy this one. Hopefully you did. Stay happy, stay healthy, and stay tuned for the next one.